2019 newsletter, Mad Learn announced a new element to the App Builder called the AR template. AR, or augmented reality, uses live, real-world environments into which 3D images can be projected. It's done by adding the object into the app and using a device's camera to see it floating in space in front of the device. Let's see how it works. First, bring the AR template into the workspace by clicking the Add Screen button and finding the template on the list to the left. Click the green button that says Add Properties to open the screen. Here you'll see different AR components from the Earth through drones and all points in between. Select an object and click on it, bringing it into the workspace. You'll notice that you can change the position in a 3D field by changing the X, Y, and Z positions. This will then establish the image at a certain position on the screen in relation to the high row marker, which we'll talk about in just a minute. You can also set the size of the object and decide whether that will automatically rotate or not. You can add as many objects as you want to the process and they'll show up where you put them. Like so. When you've finished, simply save the screen and your AR template is ready to be used by the end user. The high row marker that I mentioned before is an object that looks like this. It can be found by putting high row marker in a Google image search. The end user can then print out this image and put it in front of the screen of their computer or their device so that they can see these objects float in space, just like this. These 3D images can be very useful in many ways, and there are some great articles that talk about the uses of AR technology. We recommend that you check them out and let the students experiment with this new technology.